So for this video, I'm going to go over the growth hormone disorders. And we know that the growth hormone is secreted by the anterior pituitary gland. So we're gonna look at hyper and hypo. And we know that hyper means too much growth hormone and hypo refers to not enough. So for our growth hormone where it's too much, we have acromegaly and gigantism. And for hypo, which is not enough growth hormone, we're gonna look at dwarfism. So let's start with acromegaly. This is the overproduction of GH after the onset of puberty. Your signs and symptoms are enlargement of the tongue, visual disturbances, hands and feet grow larger, muscle weakness. In women, they're going to have a deep voice, increased facial hair and amenorrhea, which is lack of menstruation. And for men, they can become impotent. Their medications, you can treat them with carbagoline and octoridide, or if the cause of acromegaly is the tumor, then you can do tumor removal. Your nursing interventions, you want to assist the patient with ADLs due to their muscle weakness or their vision loss, and you want to encourage range of motion. Gigantism. This is also an over-secretion of G8s, but this is before the onset of puberty. Your signs and symptoms are overgrowth of the long bones, so they'll be abnormally tall, and even though they're tall, they're usually weak. So your medication and treatment, surgical removal of tumor, or eradication of the anterior pituitary gland. Your nursing interventions, you wanna record the child's height at each visit. You want to encourage regular visits to the endocrinologist, and you also wanna be understanding and compassionate. So to compare these two, acromegaly, that's happening after puberty, so later in life, and gigantism is happening before puberty. So now you have dwarfism, and that is hypopituitary dwarfism is caused by a deficiency in G8, so there's not enough. Your signs and symptoms, so they will be short stature, they may appear younger than their chronological, chronological age, and they may have underdeveloped jaws. Your medication, your treatment, is replacement of growth, growth hormone by injection, or surgical remover of tumor. Your nursing interventions, you wanna assess for signs and symptoms indicative of a tumor, such as headache, visual disturbances, behavior changes. You wanna encourage the child to wear age-appropriate clothing, and you wanna also encourage them to do activities with their peers. So again, we have growth hormone. So too much, you get acromegaly and gigantism. Not enough, you get dwarfism. And these are all disorders of the anterior pituitary gland. So take a minute to just look, compare and contrast. Again, acromegaly after puberty, gigantism before puberty. Acromegaly and gigantism are too much and dwarfism is not enough of your growth hormone.